So in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can very quickly address an item in a two-dimensional array. Now, what you can see here is I've just used a quick algorithm here to create my 5x5 five five array. So number of rows, 5, number of columns, 5, and then I've actually uh, declared my array here, and I've used list comprehension to put zeros into the whole array. So the loop is for i in range number of columns, and then for j in range number of rows. So that basically says we jump into the number of rows and create five rows, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we create the columns within the rows, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And if I print this array, you'll see that I've got the items down here. I've got all my zeros, so row 0, row 1, row 2, row 3, and finally row 4. Okay, now how would I put an item in that array? So let's say I wanted to put an item in row 1 and column 2. I would do my array square bracket 1, square bracket 2, and I would make that equal to a value such as 7. And if I play that now, you can see that I want to go to row 1. So not row 1 here because that's row 0, so row 1. And then I then need to look at my columns, and again I've used column 2. So remember we start with 0, column 0, column 1, column 2. And you can see there that's the position that I've placed it at, that's the 7. And if I wanted to access that item, let's say if I did 1 square bracket 2, you can see that I've had to put that inside the curly brackets for print. If I press play now, you can see it just prints that item. It doesn't print the whole array, it just prints the item in that array. And that's how we can um, address items in array and also how we can create arrays using loops, or should I say two-dimensional arrays using loops.